Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today is going to be tutorial number 25 in our little hack and slash tutorial series. Today we're going to go and clean up the display of our little GUI that we're making. So if we open up Unity and start what we have so far, we'll keep the same basic layout that we have going on here. But what we want to do, if we open up model development, is clean up the way it's being displayed out with all these numbers. We're going to set up some constants and some variables just to make this a little neater and easier to look at. The first constant I'm going to set up is going to be our offset. Now this is just a small amount of pixels that go around the edge of the screen where nothing is going to be put or displayed. Now for that I'm going to use a constant. It will be private. It's going to be an integer. I always forget the S in constant. And I'm just simply going to call it offset. Now I'm going to have this equal five pixels. And just to quickly show you what I mean by that, when I start it up, we'll notice up here there's a 10 pixel buffer, buffer area. And down here there's a 10 pixel buffer area. I'm switching it to five because I'll probably put the whole thing in a box a little later on. But I'm going to shrink it down into a 5 pixel buffer. The next variable I'm going to set up will also be private and a constant and an integer. And it's going to be the line height. So basically how tall each of our lines are. So I'll just call this line height. And I'm going to set it to 20 pixels. So let's go back and look at our game again. Now when we start it up, we notice that we have a lot of columns of different things here. So let's look at our first column. We'll notice that we, it's just a big list of labels, which consists of our attributes, our vitals, and the same thing over here for our skills. So let's take care of these first. We'll go back into model development, and we're going to want to set some sort of constant for the length of those. So I'll make it private to start with. I'm going to have it be a constant. It's an integer. And I'm going to refer to it as stat label. And I'll make it 100, I believe, is what we're doing. Now with just these three constants set up, we should be able to go through and clean the way this looks right now. So let's start it off by using our offset. Uh, we're not going to be taking care of this yet, but we can use our stat label, and I, I am going to change that to stat label length or width. Now we can also do the exact same thing for the height of it since we set a constant for it and that was line height. Now I am going to be moving my stuff a little bit closer so we might as well take care of this one here as well. So in here we'll just say that we want it to be the line height and if we wanted to keep the exact same position on the screen we could also add the offset as well but I wanted to tighten up the way things looked they're a little spaced out for me. So I'm going to tighten them up a bit. Now we are going to have to adjust the vertical spacing for everything else on the screen to match up. But for now we've only done this list here. And it does look a little bit better. Now let's go create the constant that's going to store how wide the label will be that's displaying our values out to our screen. So we'll just go up here. We'll just copy this and it won't be stat label width, it will be uh, I'm just going to call it base value width. Actually we should keep the label in there just so we know what's being displayed. And currently we're using 30. Now if you're using a different font then you might have to adjust that to the size of your font that you're using. So we should be able to come down here now 
Now, instead of doing 115, we are moving things a little bit closer. We know that we can use the width of our label that we've already defined plus an offset because we want it to be moved over a little bit more. So that's just going to be offset. I'm not going to play with the height yet except for here, which is just simply line height. Now we've set the, uh, the constant for that, which was base value, label width, and line height. Let's go take a look. It should be okay. And if you notice, the values line up with it right now. Now you might be wondering, it works perfectly the way it was before. Why are we going through and doing all of this recoding? Well, let's say later on we decide we want to change something the way it's displayed. Let's say we need more width for all of our base values. Right now we have it set to 30. And let's say we add a few more digits to it and all of a sudden we need you know, 40. You'd have to go through and change the width for all of these all of these and for all of your skills as well but by doing it this way here all you'll have to do is just come up here change it to 40 and you'll be done so now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for our vitals and our skills so I'm just gonna cut and paste it's offset stat label width we can put that down here too and line height. And let's see how that looks. Okay. And now let's adjust the base values. And we should get the line height here too. Not for the points left. Take a look. Uh, we missed this one. Now, don't forget we also have to adjust this, which was just offset plus stat label width take a look there we go now next we should do our buttons so I'm going to come up here uh, I'm going to make another private constant. It's an integer. And I'm just going to call it button with two T's. Width. I'm going to make it equal to 20. And we'll do the exact same thing for the height. So, width, height, I'm going to have to adjust where it's positioned. Well, let's take a look to make sure, see how the buttons look. They're a little small, but they're okay for now. Let's, let's move them over. Now we want to know where to place them. So we know we want an offset. Plus, stat label width. 
And let's take a look at that. Okay, that put them right there. We also have to add the width of our base value label. There we go. Now let's adjust this one. So it's going to be the exact same, except we're going to want to add this here again. Actually, we can just do times two here. We have an error. There we go. Now let's adjust the exposition of our skills. Now if we look back at our our game here, we'll notice that it starts after these buttons. So we can just move them according to where the buttons are. So we'll stop the game, go up to the exposition of our buttons, right here. Actually better off taking the second button. We'll come down, paste it here, and then just add the offset again. Now since you're adding offset again, you could just do offset times two plus, you know, you can go along that way, but I'm just gonna add the offset for now. And then down here, we'll do the same thing. Plus, offset, plus, stat bar or the stat label width so let's take a look that should be lined up okay we got to move it over actually there's a slight error here we shouldn't be doing the base value label width times two uh, if we go back up to the second button here it shouldn't be times two we should just be adding the button width and if we come down here, make the adjustment here, button width, we'll do the same on the next line, and since there's two buttons, we'll multiply it by two here. Now there we go. We might want a little bit more offset in here, so we can just do offset times two for there. And there we go. You might want to add some offset in here. I'm just going to leave them close together for now. But there we go. Now the only other number I want to get rid of in here is this 40. And all it represents is how far down we start here. So I'll add a variable up here. Private int and we'll call it stat starting pos for position. And I'll just make it equal 40. Grab this. Cut and paste. So everywhere you see a 40, cut and paste it in. Now you can look at it and say, wow, it's really starting to get messy and hard to read. But you can easily format this. I'm going to go to where I'm defining my recs. And since I know it's in the format of X, Y, width, and length, I'm actually just going to break it down like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of my new recs. And probably just out of space. It's just a little easier to read it this way. And there we go. I've broken all the recs down into X, Y, width, and height. Now there is a bit better way to do this where we could actually calculate the rec ahead of time and just tell it to print that rec out instead of creating a new one. Uh, but we'll look into that when we're making our in-game character sheet later on. I'll see you in the next tutorial.